For this lesson, we are going to be solving a system of equations, and this time they're word problems. So we will read the text twice, mark it, and then write two equations that would go with the problem and solve it. Looking at the first problem, we have find the value of two numbers if their sum is 12, and their difference is four. All right, so let's mark our text. So we know that we are looking for two numbers. Their sum is 12, but their difference is four. So let's make x is equal to the first number, and y is equal to the second number. So our first equation is the sum is 12, so it would be x plus y is equal to 12. The second equation, it's the difference is 4, so x minus y is equal to 4. When I look at this now, I can solve by elimination or I can solve by substitution. But I'm looking at the problem, and I do see a pair of opposites. So I'm going to solve by elimination by getting rid of my y's because they're a pair of opposites. So we have a 1x here and a 1x here, so it's 2x is equal to 16. We're dividing both sides by 2, so x is equal to 8. So that is our first number is 8. So now I'm just going to go back to my very first equation of x plus y equals 12. I'm going to substitute in the 8 that we found plus y is equal to 12. And in order to move the 8 to the other side, I have to subtract. So y is equal to 4 are two numbers that we were talking about. The value of those numbers for the first number is 8 and the second number is 4. So do they add up to 12? Yes. If you subtract 8 minus 4, <clears throat> is it 4? And the answer is yes. So we know our numbers are correct. Well, let's look at the next word problem that seems to be very lengthy right here. Mary is selling tickets for a play. The first day she sells three senior citizen tickets and one child ticket, totaling $38. On the second day, Mary collects $52 by selling three senior citizen tickets and two children tickets. What is the cost of a child ticket? So let's mark our text. Mary is selling tickets for a play. So they mentioned the first day she sells three senior citizen tickets and one child ticket, and that totals $38. So that's the first day. So that is going to actually be my first equation, but first we need to define our variables. So S is equal to senior citizen, And C is going to be equal to our child. And both of those are our tickets. Our first equation with what we circled, we have 3S plus 1C is equal to 38 we don't need to write our dollar sign. So let's look at the second day, which that's going to be our second equation. Mary sells, oh, they give us the total first, $52 by selling three senior citizen tickets and two children tickets. And what is the cost? Again, we're looking for the cost of a child ticket. 
But let's write our second equation. We have three senior citizens. This time we have two child tickets and the total is 52. So as I'm looking at this system of equations, I don't see, and I could solve by substitution, but I think I'm going to solve by elimination. You can do it either way. So for this problem, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply the top by a negative 1. And when I do that, I will have a negative 3s and a 3s. So there's my pair of opposites. And I'll be able to find the child ticket immediately. So let's do that multiplication. Negative 1 times 3s is negative 3s. Negative 1 times a positive 1 is a minus 1c is equal to negative 1. You have to remember this guy times 38 is negative 38. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to copy my bottom equation. There's nothing I need to do. And once I do that, I can see, indeed, I do have my pair of opposites. My senior tickets cancel out. So negative 1 plus 2 is 1c, and negative 38 plus 52 is actually 14. So I know that one child ticket is going to equal $14. If I needed to, I could substitute in that 14 into either of the original equations up here, and I would be able to find my senior citizen ticket. But since they're not asking for that, I'm actually able to stop with finding the cost of one child ticket. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.